we go down. This is the East Lake base, if you didn't see previous days. Episode. Let's get downstairs. Going. Close this. This is all new. I was there. The ECU is here, surprisingly enough. But I got that. And these items. Refrigerator is upgraded now because I brought the goods here to do it. These things go back to the other base. I think I'm taking that with me. These don't have to go with me though. These can stay here. I think I do have a bit of the, uh, was it fish oil? Yeah. And this, this stuff actually makes this stuff, which is kind of important for making an antidotes. I don't have any antidotes here. This base is really not set up to actually have guests, but I've done a good job of getting it most of the way there, but there are obviously some things that we uh, are going to need here. Let's shut this off. We're going to see what we've got. 113. See, if when the generator goes off, it'll be only producing at a 0.12, but it'll actually produce better than that once, once it becomes a little bit brighter. Those solar panels will help produce more. And of course, the wind turbines are going to fly sometimes and make lots of power. That's why you need at least a couple thousand storage here so that when the wind turbines actually do their job, when storms roll around, that it will have a place to put all of this additional power during that period of time when the wind tur turbines are doing their thing. I mean, without the storage space, it would be mostly just wasted because once it got to, say, a thousand. Let's say you only put one storage unit in here. It gets to a thousand. Then whatever this wind turbine's doing is just going away. It doesn't really amount count for anything or the solar panels. So it's always good to have lots of storage. And there'll be probably more storage here once I get going. This place is not obviously not done. How's the food? I'm okay. So I can always cook one of these before I leave and take it with me. I think I will. I could cook the rest of it too. What am I going in there for? I'll cook that on the generator. Generator's going to run for a while and probably boost this up to a thousand at least. Leave this in here. That'll be a good tangible sign if those things go bad that the wind turbine solar panels did not manage to do their job. But they will. I think we've been through this before on some of the other bases that three solar panels, three wind turbines is good enough. We'll see. That's exactly what I think is over on the Westlake base, because I think that's what I was planning on setting up here. Okay, this is going to be a slower trip home. I'm going to probably hit up all the lock crate areas. I've got four lock picks. I'll start right here. How are we doing on wood? 51. Wouldn't hurt to slap a few trees, too. Seems to be what we do in this game, right? Just 
slapping the trees until they give up the logs don't actually kill a tree. rise right here. It's a deer. He's kind of he stuck there for a second. I don't think there would be a bear in ahead of me, otherwise they would have probably been chasing that deer. One over there though. Good. Ammo crate. I should say ammo bag. Ammo container is what it says. That's fine. Sometimes you can find lock crates right up here. And even, you know, it, this is quite a large area. You can actually go quite a ways that direction. And still be within this lock crate region, I think. So we're going to head that way a bit. Go summit this mound here. Oops. this way. Map now? I think I am. I just didn't think I'd been over into this area yet. It doesn't look like I had. Is it carrot? there and up that way and you end up in cougar country. Wasn't really keen on that idea. Still not. Maybe I sneak around this way. Ah, luck right. Glad I did. the one that would get, get us back to Central Lake. I left that one on. I thought I had That's a dangerous 
area. You could rather go this way. Because we're practically... There's my base right up there. That's the cougar base. It's kind of the... The most southerly of my cougar bases. There's another cougar that you could park over here somewhere. There's no way that we can see my base up there on a mound. No, it's up in there somewhere. I don't think it faces out this direction. It's in one of my earlier videoed episodes. Does have a uh, a stop by that base. It was a terrible, terrible. Almost got me killed going up there because I wasn't dressed for it. I knew I was going there too. I should have been uh, more prepared. This is a cougar area too, right? This is about as low as he comes down in this area here. I've actually seen the cougar come down into this area between here and the little base I've got up there. I'm really not interested in doing any cougar hunting right now. I could. Rabbit. Here's the base. I think there's something over there. I don't know. I don't hear a cougar. It's probably up in the snow up above. But then again, I've seen the cougar roam around that, see that grub tree right over there? I've seen him down there. That moose is heading. Don't go over there, moose. over there. This 
have some fish. And a blueberry. I need some water. Let's have this. Let's see what. Yeah, I'm pretty short on vegetables. There's where that grizzly bear was making his noises. Actually, there's another bear over there, too. Yeah. Okay, well, this is uh, somewhat more familiar ground. This gets you down into the valley. If you stay up here in this ridge line and then up over on the other side of these rocks, it's a lock crate area. I've already found one. Might be able to find another if we stick around up here. Oh, shush you. I maybe not be able to do that. Well, gosh darn. Do I have to kill somebody here? If I have to kill somebody, it's gonna be you, wolf. I would prefer not to have to kill anybody, though. Sneak away from these guys. Yeah, everybody's after me now. The thing is, I don't have any housing up here. No place I can run to to protect myself. He gave up. He was bound to. I can outrun him. Look around up here a little bit. Chop this tree and look around. We have a base up here, a friend of mine and I. It's just a stopover spot. Because it's a good spot to you know, look out over the whole region. It's also kind of got a lot of loot up here, too, usually. And it's a lock crate area. In these rocks, they have lots of ores on them. So this is really kind of a cool spot. I'm heading down that direction towards that grub tree that we just came from. And I'll be heading down into that area and then going and checking the other rock crate areas that are around. I was kind of hoping to find one up here, but it doesn't look good. And he's not going to let me get to the oars unless I, I shoot him. How's my space? Yeah, I don't have much space. Probably not worth shooting this guy. I'm struggling for for space, and I really don't need to do that. I'm gonna slide down through here, check for lock crates. Down through there, down here. I'm going up over this way though. spawn points I would imagine right here in this this location that's one of my place buildings it used to be the forward operating base for the uh, fortress usually don't have anything no B, BCU or anything like that just a crate where I keep a lot of stuff 
There's food. Some place around here. I mean, it's a bigger base than it looks like from here. Look at that. I'm surprised. There doesn't seem to be any food here. I thought I ran around here and put food into this base like the others. No, I did not. Gosh. Okay, that's all right though. Close enough to home. I don't have to worry about it. I was kind of hoping to find a lock crate here though. So, this is the end of the lock crate area. If it isn't here or up above with those other trees or around the rocks that exist there, then it just isn't a lock crate here. Man, let's cut right up through here. Go on the other side of this pond. see what we can find up here. Maybe we'll find a lock crate here. Take another look over here. Nope. There was a wolf around here. I don't want to bother him. I don't need to. I think that wolf is going to let me get this ammo bag. He'd have to go away. Are you looking at, my, at me or are you turned around? I think he's looking right at me. Yeah, now he's got his butt to me. Oh, that was a good one. Shotgun shells always welcome. Here. And up over around here. That's just a chicken. Okay. Look over this entire area and pay particular attention to this area right up in here because it's tricky and sneaky and I've found them up here and hiding in these rocks and stuff and I don't see anything okay how about down there over there no I don't see any okay Getting lucky over here. I'm gonna go up over onto this rock Oop. and see if we can find anything up here. No, nope, afraid not. No lock crate in this area either. At least not one that I saw. Moose season, right? September. It's getting close. 
Better make sure my little fling isn't up there. Otherwise, this could get kind of dicey trying to get back. Might get dicey anyway. Grizzly bear, moose. Well, the moose isn't going to do anything. How about the moose getting closer to the bear and have the bear chase him out of my way? Not gonna happen, is it, bear? time I've got. i got lots of time. I think I can eat all these, right? stuff off. And I'll keep all that. We're just gonna run. Oops. We're just gonna run over into that area over here. See if we find a lock. Locked great. Might get lucky. On our way back, we'll grab all of that stuff. get a locked crate it's usually over by the grub tree down there probably because there's a lot more spawn points there almost didn't need to jump for that I'll head back and get that uh, building crate through the middle of that area. Not gonna spend much time here as a bear. 140 black bear. Level one. No, I don't see anything. They can spawn up the beach here. A ways. I'm talking about lock crates, of course. These can spawn in all sorts of different places. I do not have much time. No 
more lock cranks down the beach. If you didn't find one by then, you're not going to find one. It was a box up here, right? There it is. There's a 95 wolf. I'll avoid him. Grizzly bear there. This was pretty clear run run back if I remember. There wasn't any animals up here. should be really getting close to filling up all my space. Okay, I can't take that stuff. Yeah, I can just leave it, or I can just leave something else up here. Like a few planks and maybe a cloth. If there's anything I can eat, I can't. So let's go get our elevator car up here and down and again and we will go back to the main house is there anything in here? look at all that running if I remember correctly. It's just that one. No animals in animal housing. Wolf there. He won't be a problem. Inside. Let's go ahead and refine what I can here. Let's do this. This. And this. Put this here. Do that a little later. So it goes back upstairs. There's some seeds. Let's go take those out here. And we don't have any ash. This here, we do store some of those down here. We do have some of that here too. That's nearly full here. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm outside. Sometimes it'll do that. Oops. Okay, let's go up. Use at 10,354. This thing really drags it down, too. Of course, I didn't have it on while we were away. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I can get that in there. Okay, we have 
a few extra goodies. I don't know what I'm doing with this kind of stuff. I'm sure I have a place for it, but and this isn't it, obviously. Okay, food. I need some. Something like uh, this. It's not enough. I can go with the big one. It's a waste, kind of on the ver fruits and vegetable side, though. Yeah, it is. I do have these. Just a uh, steak and eggs will do it. Then I can go in here and have another steak or something even smaller, like a chicken. Smaller. That'll get me up in the range where I want to be. Tomato. And water, I'm fine. Did I put everything away? Yes. Mission accomplished. Let me put some of this ammo away. Probably where I'm gonna leave this. 10, 139, 0.1, or 0.61 coming in. Out is 1.51. That's the refrigerators, right? And also the refiners downstairs, all three uh, lasers are running. That's why that. That'll go away fairly soon. It will be just fine. 10,000 is still an awful lot of power. So, say goodnight. Goodnight.